Hey, problem solvers. Welcome to math. Now, before I jump in to what we're going to talk about in math, I got to say, I am so proud of each and, so, and of each and every one of you for how well you've been doing during our factors and multiples unit. It's been a lot and we've been adjusting, you know, to remote learning again and you have all just been your absolute best. I am like literally at a loss for words to tell you how proud I am and how well I think you're all doing. So thank you for that. Uh, we're going to play a game in math today when we come back together on Zoom. And in order to win that game, you are going to need to be um, nice and refreshed on the difference between prime and composite numbers. Who remembers what those two words mean? A prime number is a number that only has two factors. And a composite number is a number that has more than two numbers. Prime, composite. Two factors for prime, more than that for composite. Um, that being said, let's head on over to my iPad and do some review. All right. So as we see here, prime is two factors and composite is more than two factors just to say that as many times as possible so we all remember let's look at some specific numbers um, 18 is 18 prime or composite Well, we know, let's, let's start by listing out the factors, right? We know that one times 18 equals 18. And we also know guys that this is an even number, which means that two times something equals 18, right? What is it in this case? Nice. So right there, we're done. More than two factors. One, two, three, four, and we are done. This is a composite number. Woo. All right, let's look at another one. Let's make this one pink. Oh, purple. All right. What about 27? Prime? or composite? Well, we already know that one times 27 equals 27. So those are two. We just need to find one more factor pair. Is it divisible by two? No, it's an odd number. Is it divisible by three? Can we do three times something that equals 27? Absolutely, we can. Three times nine equals 27. And what does that mean? Is it prime or composite? It is composite. More than two factors. Now, if I had asked you to list out all the factors of 27, you might need to keep going. You might, there, you might be able to find more. But all I'm asking is if it's prime or composite. So all you need to do is find that extra factor pair and you're good. So let's move on. What about, let's see. I'm gonna give you a minute to think about this one before I dive in. Prime or composite? Well, of course, you know that one times 83 is 83. Can we times two by anything? Is 83 a multiple of two? It's odd, so it is not. What about three? 
four. Five by four. You get a remainder if you did that. What about five? Is eighty three a multiple of five? Six. I'm gonna keep checking in my head. But guys, this is a prime number. 83 has no other factors except one and 83 it is a prime number. It's a nice color combination. Should we look at another one? about 91. Let's go through all the options. We already know that one times 91 equals 91. So we've got two factors here. What else? Is 91 a multiple of two? No. What about three? No. What about four? Nope. Those are the remainder. What about five? Is 91 a multiple of five? Six? It's really starting to look like it's a prime number, huh? Let's keep going a little bit further. What about seven? If we check our work, seven times 13 is 91, which means that even though for a while it looked like it was gonna be prime, this is a composite number. What if I give you a different kind of question? What if my question is to list all of the prime numbers that are less than 25? All of the prime numbers that are less than 25. How would you go about solving that? Well, I'm a very visual person and I like to draw out my writing, my thinking while doing math. So the first thing I'm gonna do is write out all of the numbers like so. How do we find the prime numbers? How do we find the numbers that only have two factors? I think we need to start eliminating. Is one a prime number? Remember, one only has one factor, so it is neither prime nor composite. Oh, let's do red. What about two? Um, two times one equals two. That's a prime number. Actually, speaking of two, we can go through and after two, we can eliminate all even numbers because we know that even numbers are divisible by two or they are a multiple of two. So we can cross out this, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Oof, all right, that's already narrowed it down a lot. Now what about three? Is three a prime number? It absolutely is. The only thing that you can multiply is one times three. But let's do the same thing. Let's go through and eliminate all of the multiples of three because we know that any multiple of three is a composite number. So three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 
Whew, okay. Already, we're really got it narrowed down. Should we go through the multiples of five? Five is a prime number because the only thing you can multiply is one by five. Are there any multiples of five left? Five, 10 is crossed out, 15 is crossed out, 20 is crossed out. Oh, we can cross out 25 because it is a multiple of five. Should we keep going? Seven is absolutely a prime number. The only thing you can multiply is one times seven. Should we go through the multiples of seven? 14 is crossed out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 21 is crossed out. And those are all multiples of uh, seven that are less than 25. What about 11? That is absolutely a prime number. Only thing you can multiply is one times 11. And if you don't know that off, off the top of your head, go through one by one. Check if you can multiply it by anything. Now, the only multiple of 11 we have is 22, and that's already crossed out, so we're fine. 13 is prime. Only thing you can multiply is 1 times 13. We don't have any multiples of 13. 17 is prime. 19 is prime. 23 is prime. So we did it. We found the answers. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 13, 17, 19, and 23. Ta -da! All the prime numbers that are less than 25. All right. So as per usual, guys, I have one more question to ask for you, and I would like you to bring the answer back to Zoom. Prime or composite? Think about it, do the math, show your work if you need to, and come back to Zoom when you know the answer. I will see you then. Bye.